So what we just looked at was, uh, I've missed the opportunity to put them thumbnails in the eyes. I'm going to, an instinctual thing, rip this down and then continue the fight from here like that. But, as I mentioned, if he really wants to put the squeeze on, bury the head to one side, bring the elbows in and squeeze in this way, which is a lot more problematic. So dealing with a, a, a high level of constriction, but also the problem is now, is I've lost half of what I could remove from my head, by my throat, right? Because because his head's here, I'm not gonna fucking find this on this side. I've got this, so I've got half. But if I took this hand and raised it up and put it on his head, now that becomes the leverage point. So what I do is I rip across this way and I peel down this way, right? I don't go to the neck, all right? If I go to the neck, can we resist, resist, resist. Strong, all right? Resist. Okay, two fingers, as opposed to the whole neck. <laughs> so you understand, and you gotta be careful with your partner on this one, right? Because you're gonna rip his neck. You got, you are doing this. Rip. Um, taking, or making this side of his neck work the hardest it's ever fucking done, against my sh shoulders and traps. <laughs> now, right? So get the top of the crown. If he's got hair, grab it. He's got big ears, fucking grab it. He's got a big beard that comes down this side here. Grab it, rip it down this way. Anything to torque his head to the one side. Right, so from here, hand is coming in as much as I can to this one. I'm ripping off this one. The other hand is coming here and pulling down this one. Me. And we'll continue the fight, whatever there. So just be careful with each other. Just start to work this. All that's changed is I've gone from here to here. Okay? Have fun.